Okay. What's up, guys? Baker, and this is gonna be a very helpful tutorial. Um, <clears throat> probably gonna be the most helpful so far. Gonna be going over keyboard shortcuts, and uh, the reason why I just sang that intro is because two of my three tutorials that had uh, ads on it were taken down after two months and I'm not sure why I'm guessing because that non copyrighted song I used in my intro is copyrighted which I don't think it is but whatever just to be safe I'm gonna do that um, let's uh, go ahead right into it I'm gonna go over a bunch of I think the most useful keyboard shortcuts not gonna be all of them but the ones I would use the most yeah okay so uh, let's just start by doing command oh command and control are gonna be interchangeable if you're a Mac or a PC okay okay cool so command N makes a new comp and boom there we go new comp easy stuff um, let's go into let's see let's go into keyframes so we got I got this crazy stuff going on and let's start with uh, let's see no let's all this so uh, P think P for position so we got our little position parameter and we can uh, set a keyframe and set another keyframe over here something like that so P for position think R for rotation there's R and we got this and uh, we have a little easy ease keyframe here and what that does is it smooths out the animation and you can select the keyframe and push F9 but since I'm on a Mac my little F uh, F shortcut keys are a little weird so you can just go to that if you really need to what else we got S for scale so uh, in the beginning it's wide scales it down I don't know um, if you want to bring up multiple parameters so let's say you want scale and rotation and position here's what you do push the first one scale hold shift and then R and then P so shift just gives you like the extra thing right and uh, if you just want to see all stuff hold on let me do something really quick rotation Oh my god, Alright. So, I'm just gonna mess it up a little bit. So, push U, that gives you all keyframes and expressions. So that's why I just added this little expression really quick to show you that. If you wanna see everything, just push U. Um, if you wanna see any effects that are applied, like this one, we have effects up here, just push E, and you got your fractal noise and your curves. And you can uh, bring these down, keyframe anything you want. So, like this one, you can't push U because there's no, uh, well, there's an expression, but you won't get the effects because there's no keyframes. So, E gives you effects. Um, did I go over opacity? T is opacity. I don't really know why, but yeah, this little thing fades out. So, uh, T for opacity. Um, a little bit about masks. Masks. Uh, push M for the path or MM to give you all the mask properties and uh, another short one is F for feathering you can just feather that, that so you don't have to like, go look for it um, let's see I went over all of that okay let's go how about 3D if you're gonna do any kind of 3D stuff um, hitting AA so let's let's say you have some white A camera wow I should have done this before it would have been so much better and action let's see if it's lights camera action right so action is a 3d layer it must be 3d camera just a camera and a light and push AA and that gives you all the uh, important 3d properties like intensity of the light color of the light it's gonna cast shadows darkness blah blah camera AA again Depth of field, zoom, focus, stuff like that. 3D layer, AA. 
you got cast shadows, sublights, a bunch of other material options. So uh, that's going to be pretty useful if you're doing any kind of 3D stuff. Um, to control the camera, go ahead and push C, and you can move this around, and then C to like cycle through the other, um, whatever they're called, stuff, things. I don't know. But uh, pretty cool, pretty cool. C is to rotate through those. And uh, AA to go through material options of 3D layers. Alright, let's go into like actual montage stuff. So really quick, I'm going to have a black solid. And if we go over to our mask up here, change rectangle to ellipse and double click. It makes a perfect ellipse. So you don't have to actually draw it out. Subtract and then, you know, tether it out, blah, blah, blah. Now, you got to change transfer mode. And now if it's not showing, you can push F4, and I'll toggle the switch right here. So you can, like, I don't know, make this 3D, put some motion blur in it. But, um, again, my F keys are kind of weird, so I just click this myself. And set it to, like, I don't know, color burn or something. No. Classic color burn. And then just lower the opacity a little bit. Now, let's say you want to kind of edit the audio. Did you know? You guys know that you can edit audio in After Effects. Well, of course you did. I hope. What you can do is push L for the audio levels, which can control the amplitude, or LL, and you can actually see the waveform. So what I do is just push L once and then bring it down so you can both see it, and then you can just you know keyframe, go forward, and then you know fade it out, something like that. You know, and you can also do that for clips too. You can there's this is how you sync gunshots. So uh, L is a shortcut for that. Not really sure why exactly, but um, let's say if you want to trim something. So trimming and uh, splitting is a little bit, um, and it's kind of different. So when you split, well, first splitting is kind of like duplicating a layer. Let's see if you split layer. It makes two layers, one before and one after, that split. So, uh, duplicating is Command D for duplicate. So just think duplicate when you want to split and do Command Shift D. And that will split your layer. Now, trimming is a little bit different and uh, it might be a little bit easier because uh, let's say you wanted to you know, split here, split there, and then you got to delete this, and then you got to delete that, and then just etc. So the quick way to do that is just find exactly where you want it to start, uh, hold alt and then begin bracket. The one that looks like a weird looking C. And then to end it do alt and bracket. And that's a f uh, fast way to uh, trim those. Now to move them and line them up with uh, anywhere you want, here's a quick way to do this. So bring your cursor all the way to the beginning, click this layer, and push begin bracket. I'll slide it right to the front. You can do that this way too. End bracket or begin bracket moves it right there. So that's a nice way to kind of line it up, you know. Um, also, you can zoom in in and out by using the plus or minus keys. So we want to zoom in there and zoom out, zoom in, zoom out. Um, how about work area? So let's say we only want to preview this. Push B, so think begin, and then push N, and think end. And that gives you that. So go ahead and uh, zoom in with the plus keys. And uh, to RAM preview, you can go ahead and press 0. And uh, my it's 0 on the keypad, and my keyboard doesn't have that, so... If you do, that's that's good for you, but you can go ahead and just use this. Um, let me look at my notes really quick. Mm, oh, I got another one. Um, all right. Holding shift can save your life. Like, seriously, you guys. Um, where's the keyframes? All right, so, like, if we have this... I, let's say I want to move this keyframe to this exact position. You don't want to have to like move it and try to line it up, especially if you're if you're zoomed out really far or something. 
Let's move it and hold shift and it'll just snap right to that line. There's another one, just snap it. Same thing when you want to scale up uh, clips. So like we have this clip here and most PBRs have a little black edge on the top and the right. And uh, a lot of people, oh here's another one, hold space bar and you can grab and stuff like that. But most people just kind of grab it and that kind of alters the uh, oops, aspect ratio just a little bit. So it shouldn't matter that much, but if you want it to be, you know, perfect, see it's all not one to one. So click and drag it, and then hold shift, and it keeps it at the same ratio. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So holding shift. Oh, same thing. If you like moving it, don't want to move that. If you just want to move something up or down, hold shift. Actually, that's never mind. That's embarrassing. All right, moving on. Um, let's see. New comp effects in the end. Feather. I think that's pretty much. Oh, a couple more things. Um, to import, you can either double click in this empty space right here, and you can import whatever you want, or it's just Command I. Same thing. But I guess I should have done that in the beginning. Um, to rename a clip, just push enter, call this clip, up here, just call this vignette, stuff like that, pretty simple, no skill involved at all, I hope, um, let me know if I missed anything, let me know if there's any extra ones you want to include or something, I will uh, add it to the description. I'll write all these down for you guys. Stop texting me! Alright. That's about it. I hope uh, these key, key, keyboard shortcuts were very helpful. So uh, let me know. Okay, bye. I'm done.